The other thing that we can see here in the WhatsApp documentation is that we can add a text to the message. Here we have a pre-filled message. In this case, after the number, we add something like this, where we have the question mark, then the parameter text equals, and then the message. We can see here that the message is encoded. It means, for example, the spaces receive a special character that represents a space. In other languages, we may also have other characters that need this special configuration, this special number to represent it. But in Power Apps, we have a way to do that. We have a function that will encode this URL, this text. Let's see now in your example button. Here we had just the WhatsApp link to open in the number but we want to add a text to it. So in order to add a text, we just add the question mark, text, and then we need to pass this encoded message, right? After the equal sign, of course. Right now, I'm just going to put without the spaces, without encoding, and let's see what's the result. Hello, this is Rudy. I want to talk with you. Okay, let's play the app and see the results. I'm going to play. Then we see that here we have the chat with the number and here's the message. In this case, it worked very fine. Let me try with a special character. Let's see if it will cause any problem or not. I think it already encodes when you click on open, so it may be fine without that special function but we are going to learn it anyways. So let me just put a word that has different characters. Uh, let me see. Dif difficult. Let me put this termination that happens in a lot of words in, in Portuguese, for example. So, okay, I'm going to play, let's see. Okay, it's fine. If we look at the URL, it encodes to us. See, it does everything for, uh, fine. But let's see how it works in case your browser doesn't do that. Okay, we have the encode URL function. So I would put this inside the encode URL. And in order to do that, we would need to concatenate strings. Let's see how to concatenate strings. I'm going to insert a label. Let me see. Label. Text label. I'm still like to use the classic ones, but you can insert the other, the new ones. And to concatenate means to join two strings together. So for example, hello, comma, and then I want to join with this is, and then I want to join with the username that's using the app. So I'm going to put user, open and close parentheses, dots, full name. Okay, this doesn't work because I need to join them. And in order to concatenate, I can use this ampersand symbol between the strings I want to concatenate. Now everything is together. Everything is linked. See, I just need to remember to put the space in the end of each one, because the space is also a character that needs to be in the string. Or I could put the name in the middle, for example, hello, concatenate, then the user.fill name and concatenate again with the string, how are you? See, this is the concatenated string. There is also another way that we can do that, that we don't need to use this. We can do all in a very big string, but now we need to evaluate this user.fill name. And in order to do that, we are going to put this dollar sign in the beginning, and then we open and close curly braces.
whatever is inside the curly braces will be evaluated and it will show the real value behind it. It can be a variable, it can be an expression like this. We can have also another one in the middle of the string or in the end. For example, let me put an expression one plus one. Then we have two. This is very nice because it's just a big screen and we don't need to concatenate, don't need to use the ampersand, open and close brackets all the time. So I like to use this one. Here, in this case, then we could have the op uh, open and closing of the brackets here and put the message here. So let's say message. Of course, we didn't define what this message means. We need to do. Okay. Here, in the beginning, we need to put the dollar sign, but here we could also get from a text input, for example. We could be, it could be text input dot text. Let's do this example. I'm going to insert a text input. Let's see, input, then we have text input. Now I'm going to go with this one, that's the modern one. Let's call txt message, and then let's put here, in the message, what's in the txt message dot value. Okay, now whatever I type here will be passed to this string. Let's see the result. Oh, the zoom is too little, but I don't see a way to do that. Okay. Hello, this is ready. Why doesn't it show closer? Okay, I'm going to do like this and press Alt. I'm going to click on the button and then it opens, passing the message, hello, this is Rudy, that it gets from the text input. I still didn't use the encode URL, so let's use it here in the formula. So right before the txt message.value, that's the text that we want to encode, Let's add the encodes URL function, opening the parentheses and closing after the text that we want to encode. This will make sure that the text is encoded to the correct characters. We can see this in a label, so I'm going to add a label right below this text input for us to see the results. I'm going to add a text and here, let position below. And I'm going to copy this formula that we have here, we just added, and paste in the text property of this label. So Ctrl V. And then we can see the encoded text. It replaced the comma, the space. Yes, that's it. Those were the special characters I had in here. Now, if I press play and click on the button, we are calling that encode function. It's passing the encoded characters in the URL and the user is going to receive the correct message without any problems. Now in the next video, we already know how to use the launch, how to concatenate and how to encode a message. We are going to apply this formula to the contact list screen. So once the user selects an user and then clicks on this button, we are going to open the same WhatsApp function for his contact. And then if it's in the smartphone, the user who is using the Power Apps will just click here and continue the communication on Power Apps. So see you in the next video.